Hello! Just a short video today, I am going to be reassembling a metal stock car kit, likely made by Mantua, although there is no manufacturer markings on this kit. This was a pre-assembled car I found at a swap meet, and I wanted to repaint it, since the paint was very rough. It looked something like this caboose, but orange. So this has been painted for a while now and is ready for a reassembly. Let's get to it. The first step is to attach the end pieces to the roof. Each is held on by one screw to the roof. Once they are tightened down, I will screw on the bottom of the car to the end plate using number 2 by 56 screws. Now the car is taking its general shape, but I have to put in the sides. This should have been really easy. There were supposed to be metal pins on the sides that mate perfectly to small divots on the roof and floor. However, someone decided to file these pins off. These pins would have made holding the sides in place very easy. Now I have to hold them in place by hand while I tighten down the screws in the base. It was very tricky getting these in, but once one side was in, the other went in no problem. Before I fully tightened everything down, I needed to insert the sliding doors. Just need to make sure they are, that I have them right side up. Okay, that's about it for the assembly of the car itself. Next thing I'm going to do is to install the couplers because they need to be installed before the trucks. What I'm going to do with this car is actually make it an adapter car. One end will have a Katie coupler and the other will have the old style Mantua hook and loop coupler. This way I can run my vintage cars with modern engines or vice versa. I will install the Mantua coupler first, but I decided to do this off camera, otherwise the video would probably be an hour long. Next, I'm going to drill and tap the hole for the 2x56 screw on the other end, which will hold the Kitty in place. There was already a hole existing on this end. I decided it was in a good enough location, so I tapped it for the threads. Using a drill tap is not too difficult. The most important part is getting it started perfectly straight. This requires a bit of patience. Once it's started, it will pull itself along. I like to run it in about halfway through and then unscrew it and it's done. Just clean out the metal shavings and I'm ready to screw in the coupler box. Last things to do are to re-glue the catwalk on top and glue in the metal wire steps underneath. Now let's take it over to the tracks and see how it does. I will use my Walther's Fairbanks switcher locomotive to pull my vintage freight train around with the newly finished car second in line. Looks like this project was a success. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. There will be plenty coming down the tracks. In fact, I have a lot of projects waiting for videos. The next video you will see will reveal some major updates to my train room. Please remember to subscribe. It does help my channel. Thanks for watching.